people come in take over. One of us going on the globe. Or the great. So, you see how ridiculous you sound now? Yes. When you're asking God to do certain things, what, how ridiculous you sound mm -hmm. now? That's why God not answering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow. Amen. Because you got the power and authority mm -hmm. to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put him out. Mm -hmm. And he says, look what he said. I designed it where not only will I bless you, mm -hmm. but if you can enjoy the good of your earthly state, consider it a double blessing. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Let's go, let's go so you can go home. Nehemiah, Ezra writes, do not sorrow for the joy of the Lord. <laughs> this is what Matthew Henry says. Watch and pray against the spirit of melancholy. You know what melancholy? It's not seasons of, of now. We are all go through that. It becomes a spirit of lowness. It becomes a burdensome spirit. And you get locked. It becomes a down spirit where you, you have no joy no matter what happens. It's melancholy. Matthew says, pray against the spirit of melancholy because if you get caught in its clutches, you won't be able to enjoy the goodness of the blessings of God. You can't even see how blessed you are because the spirit of melancholy blinds you. And you get locked into a spirit of somber. And you carry a weight. I gotta go home. I'm close right now. Have you been you be around people where you almost walk up on them and you can feel weight and burden? Okay, let's flip it. You also walk up on people and you can feel a presence and an anointing and a spirit of joy and an, uh, that they carry the anointing, that they've been in the presence of God. You, you, it's something about them that draws you to them because you sense the presence of God. You sense the power of God. You sense the anointing of God upon them. And you want to be in their company because their company, their presence enlightens you. Their presence make you leave feeling good and hopeful and inspired about life. You flip it, you got also people who carry a spirit of darkness, a spirit of burden. That when you leave, you feel away. Let me go home and take a bath. Something is off for me. But if that's melancholy, ain't nothing never right. And this year, this year, we're going to abandon that spirit. Yes. Come on now. We're only going to think that I don't care what it looks like, what happens. In the end, God's word is true. Everything is going to work out for my good. Say it, come on. All things are going to work out for my good. Say it again. All things are going to work out for my good. Come on, say it one more time. All things are going to work out for my good. Yeah, I might lose some stuff, but I ain't going to lose. I will not lose my hope. I will not lose my faith in God. And I'm not going to lose my praise. Praise my way out. Praise my way through. Speak to my say, Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Get a spirit. I'm gonna be happy this year. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be happy. Get a spirit Come on now. in you. Mm -hmm. Talk to yourself. Yeah. I'm going to be happy this year. This is gonna be one blessed year. 
matter of fact, I didn't say this because it wasn't, you know, just, but, but the word God gave me, we don't have a new, we didn't have a new service and all that, but the word that God gave me was like three words mm -hmm. that, that God said this year mm -hmm. was um, expectation, mm -hmm. retribution, mm -hmm. and compensation mm -hmm. for all of those that have been faithful. Come on now. <laughs> expectation. Yes. Oh, yeah. Expect things to work out for you. Yeah. Expect the miraculous. Yeah. Retribution. Uh -huh. God won't deal with the enemy. Yeah. Don't waste your time. Uh -huh. Compensation yes. is what Solomon said your heritage <laughs> from a good life of devotion and labor. That's, that's the gift that God gives you. Put somebody and say expectation, expectation, compensation, retribution, retribution compensation. compensation. Now I'm gonna fast forward. I got all the rest of them. I'm in the compensation spirit. Yeah. You don't have the expectation already. I've been expecting all my life. I'm past that. You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? I'm in. The, I'm in. I'm in the compensation state. My hands are open. I, I, I said this. I said this. I said this to God a few a few days ago. I said this to God. I'm letting you in on my personal prayer. Cause I don't let y'all in on my personal conversation with God all the time. Matter of fact, I do it rarely. Cause I don't want y'all rascals to know what I'm talking to God about. Go <laughs> down, rascals. They ain't giving me this. Y'all rascals, good people. Now. But this is my, I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of my private yeah, conversation. Cause I have a conversation with you. A conversation with God. Amen. Yes. And you ain't in that conversation. No. No. I know you'll be like, Pastor, pray. I'm praying for you on your time. But in my personal conversation, God, your name is not, not no, I ain't even no. No. Pray for yourself in that context. But I do pray for y'all. In my private conversation with God, this will give you one, one. <laughs> I said to the Lord, I extend my hand to you. Are you going to leave me hanging? Are you going to honor me? I said to my hand. You know, when a person go up for the five, you can't leave them hanging. That's a disrespect. I told God, I said, It's not respectful to leave a man hanging. <laughs> See, I told y'all, y'all can't handle my conversation. I said, my hand is up. Yes, no. It's not respectful to leave a man hanging. I'm waiting on you. Yes, so mm -hmm. High five. Yes. Yes. Camaraderie, right brother. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. God. Yes, he did. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, he did. What was the first thing, the three words I gave you? He said, I know you want to teach your series. That was the first. Don't worry. Amen. In other words, God go. Gotta have the spirit of expectation. Let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. This is the teachings of Solomon. That a happy heart is amplified. The spirit of joy is medicine to your spirit and healing to your in your soul. So he says, be merry, live happy, and rejoice in God always. But joy is a gift God gives to us for our slave. You got to remember this. That's real. That's real. I ain't going to take them right back on. But I just put it up there so you can read it. Remember, don't forget that. Everybody ain't with you for the party. Yeah. 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 I know you talk you talking to yourself. Okay, remember that right there. Yeah. Yeah. A 
down person will pull you down if you yes. don't pull them up. Oh, yeah. Don't fool yourself. Mm. Some of y'all ain't strong as you think you are. Amen. You're hanging with people whose spirit is heavier than yours. Mm. Uh. I put that up there. I was praying that y'all could understand the context of that statement. Mm -hmm. Now, if you take it out of context, you can go crazy. Mm -hmm. But I put on, put it up there. I pray that y'all be in the right spirit. Mm -hmm. Touch your body and say whatever makes you happy. Whatever makes you happy. Now, stay in the right spirit. <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's a strong statement. Amen. Don't tell us whatever makes you happy. Yeah. Yeah. If you're in the wrong spirit, you'll be saying, you like right now, your mind be thinking, you know, songs like, you know, if love in you is wrong, <laughs> so that's when you're in the wrong spirit. I don't want to be right. I stand to keep, you know, that's, that's the wrong spirit. Come on, <laughs> Slipping in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> That's wrong spirit. But y'all do pow! The thrill is gone. <laughs> joy. The ability to enjoy. The blessings of God mm -hmm. is considered a double blessing. Mm -hmm. Since God wants you to be happy, mm -hmm. whatever makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Now believe it there. Stand in your feet. Whatever makes you happy. Mm -hmm.